Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. This video is going to show you how you can share the contents of a message window from TD Snap into a text message. So I've compiled a message here and I've already tested this out that this can work even if the iPad is locked into guided access. I did not find a way, interestingly enough, to toggle off the ability to do this. So if for some reason you don't want an individual sending text messages, then you would need to hide the share button. Um, but for most folks, this could be helpful. Um, I'm going to tap, after I have my message compiled, I'm going to tap share, tap other, and then it populates, the iPad does this, um, it populates the people that you text the most or most recently are listed kind of in order. And you can see I text myself a lot as reminders. So I'm going to send a text message to myself. And if I wanted to tap the arrow, then it sends it. So fairly straightforward. Um, it helps to attach on the iPad a picture along with your contacts to help the user identify in fact, that that is the person that they want to send a message to. If you don't see uh, this option, say you don't see the share button, you may be on an older page set before they added that, but you can go in and edit and add that button. Um, the other thing, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, you have to have iMessaging set up, of course, ahead of time for this to be able to send text messages. Um, so that wouldn't be allowed if you're on a locked or managed device, probably. It needs to be just an open, regular iPad like I'm using here. Hope this helps.